लाइट Hello everyone. Welcome to Nefco platform. Nefco is 
neonatal focus echoes so welcome to the platform and today we are will be i am <clears throat> dr mohit sani i am a neonatologist with the interest in neonatal hemodynamics and presently running this platform of nefco this is a platform for you to interact and update your knowledge and skills in neonatal echoes we do provide uh, uh, even physical and online hybrid and hybrid courses in neonatal echoes and this youtube channel is basically to discuss every now and then few interesting cases and to interact you with people today we will be having a, a interesting case to discuss which you have been seeing the video which has been uploaded on nefco youtube channel and on insta page few people have commented on that so uh, there are apprehensions regarding that case to know more about that case few responses are there and when you are live uh, join live you may also ask your queries and write in the chat box i will try to answer that as much as i can so let's start with this interesting case for which some very short video i have put on youtube our nefco youtube channel and our insta page i'm going to share my screen to give you basic information regarding that case i hope everybody is able to see the screen <clears throat> so today's discussion will be on this case so let's start with the case so this is a male baby with with the birth weight of 2.2 kg with gestation age of 35 weeks born to gravida 2 para 1 mother by lcs cried immediately after birth had mild tachypnea at birth so was started on o2 by nasal prongs post delivery and then was shifted to one peripheral nicu distress increased and at 4 hours of life was started on cpap on day 2 the distress further increased and subcostal tractions they also increased so cpap which was 5 cm of water was increased to 6 cm of water the vitals at that time heart rate of 170 saturations the baby was initially maintaining was 94% at 40% fio2 which went down to 84% so the baby which was maintaining saturation has now started desaturating <clears throat> pulses palpable in all the four limbs from this peripheral center this baby was shifted to our, our place in view of congenital heart disease and was referred mainly for an echo okay so next will be that video which i have already posted on our um, uh, youtube channel and on insta so this is that video so in that many people they commented on insta page on youtube that you cannot see anything in this so that was the catch as i was there when this baby came even though we ordered all the basic investigations x ray chest and everything but as i was there so i th machine was along the bed side so i thought why not to uh, do an echo and as soon as as uh, i also asked the question of what is this view so this is uh, there the uh, uh, the probe is at the apical window so basically i was trying to get a apical four chamber view and this is what i got in that uh, echo view i couldn't see anything so when this happens so that means one either the high chest is hyper inflated or it's a pneumothorax that's, that's how the pneumothorax will look like so that was the picture echo picture for the pneumothorax so this is something you can suspect when you get a view like this or 
In rare cases, the heart may be on the right side. Dextrocardia, isomerism. So the heart can be on the other side. That can also be the possibility. But in this video, there is a hinge. There is a uh, hint for you. As you see, when this probe is being, when you see this probe, you've already seen a chest drain in that because the video was even taken afterwards. Because as soon as I did the echo, I suspected the pneumothorax. So we straight away went for the drainage and the baby got intubated at that time because profusion was poor and the baby was having pneumothorax. So which was being then treated accordingly. Um, so this was the X-ray chest because the X-ray was being called by that time. And this is the X-ray chest, which you can see in the X-ray chest. You can we clearly see that this side is a bit more hyperinflated from the other side. Okay. I don't know if it is being clear on your um, screen. Yeah, it is there. So now I don't know if you can see the clear cut uh, cut. That is the pneumothorax. You can see the air leak in this. So in the X-ray, this was been clear. But if you are there, so there is a one question: Is it necessary? to do an echo first in this patient instead of X-ray. So very rightly asked, this question is very ap appropriately asked. Is it necessary to do an echo? No, it's always first basic things first. That is dope. If your baby is on any positive pressure ventilation, on ventilation or on CPAP, okay? If any ba baby is on any of these kind of positive pressure ventilations and baby start desaturating, the first thing you need to rule out is by dope. Displacement of this positive airway uh, by which you are giving the positive pressure ventilation, obstruction either in ET or in the CPAPs, pneumothorax, and then the equipment failure. The only thing which happened here was the, as soon as the baby came, as I was already in the unit, the machine was already there. So I happened to put the, by, while we were waiting for the X-ray, I, I happened to put the probe on the chest. So that, 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 that gave me this indication, the finding which you saw in that echo uh, window in the uh, echo uh, image, echo uh, of that baby in that video that was showing that I couldn't see anything. So the most common reason for that is pneumothorax. There is another question in the chat box. Why I'm not able to see anything in this echo? Yes. So this is what is the reason. One, the most common is this. If your chest is very hyperinflated, okay, or you are having pneumothorax, then most commonly this kind of picture you will get. Or if you are if you are having dextrocardia, that's why. And uh, uh, for the time being, what I can do is. I can show you that this apical four chamber. So how to do apical four chamber that I can show. That will be because this, this, this was a question I asked in the YouTube uh, channel and in my Insta page that which is this view. So see, you can see in this part, the probe is being cut at the apex. Pointer is pointing at two to three o'clock position. And this is upright apical view. What you're seeing is the four chambers. This is LA, LV, mitral valve, RA, RV, tricuspid valve, interventricular septum, interatrial septum. This is descending aorta and these three are the pulmonary veins. So this is a pical four chamber view. So there is another comment and ask that if, sir, if we can use USG, which is being available, if the XHS is taking time, can we see, see pneumothorax by USG? Yes, very much right. You can very well do that. And that is, again, the literature has clearly shown the evidence is that it is as good as X-ray chest. Ultrasonography is one is one of the gold standard method to detect the 
pneumothorax and what you will see i will just show you let me bring that up so there are a lot of things i won't be able to discuss the whole ultrasound lung here but you can see in this is normal lung if you do m mode in that what we get this kind of picture we get and this kind of picture what we call as this is in the normal lung this is what we call as c shore sign in pneumothorax you won't be able to see the lung sliding a lines and when you do the m mode you will see barcode sign or stratosphere sign so that is an end. and if you have a machine you just have to change the probe to if you have the um, hockey stick probe okay instead of phase array probe you use, use this hockey stick probe and then you can use that probe to do the lung ultrasound or linear array probe what you say so that that is again becomes helpful and it is one now considered to be the gold standard so this was a case of basically the pneumothorax which was in picked it could have been picked with the cold light it could have been could have been easily picked with the x ray chest but it was incidental that as soon as the baby was uh, came in the unit the person who is capable of doing an echo and uh, machine is there so immediately could see that and it this is what the finding was and hence before the x-ray was been done the diagnosis was been made and the drain and the needle drain for the pneumothorax was been done so it quickens your management one but you should never ever skip your basics that is never forget the dope pneumonic never forget the dope pneumonic always stick to that because that comes before the echo or heart issues they come i hope the message is clear for everyone so if you have any uh, doubts in this you can even write on insta in the comments or you can write in the comments of this video i will try to answer that on the chat box thank you very much and again please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon and in description you will find the contact details if you are interested in uh, learning neonatal echoes you can contact us on these contact details for online hybrid and physical